This is a, a quick tutorial video to uh, cover some of the uh, more detailed points of the uh, how to install Floatbox Plus, which gives you a very nice attractive lightbox effect for video playback on your WordPress website or blog. First thing we need to do is find Floatbox Plus in the uh, WordPress.org plugin repository. Uh, this is the page for that. Um, then uh, once uh, you're aware of it, we simply go to install plugins on your WordPress uh, website or blog, type in Floatbox Plus, search the plugins, and you can see I've already installed it here. It's part of the playback for the uh, blog post probably you found this video on. Uh, make sure that you install it, and after that your next stop will be to go to Floatbox and uh, download the uh, custom script. Now be aware that this is a $20 custom script. It's a one-time charge. Uh, it includes uh, future upgrades and it is uh, well worth it, but it's not part of WordPress and it's not part of the plugin. You'll have to download it and install it separately. Otherwise you won't get that really nice uh, lightbox effect. So uh, go to uh, Floatbox js.com. The link is in the uh, blog post where you uh, came across this. Go to the download page. Download this. It is a zip file. You'll need to uh, save it to your hard drive and then extract it. Once you've extracted uh, Floatbox Plus from the uh, zip file, you then need to uh, install that using your FTP client. I use FileZilla here. Uh, to the Floatbox Plus plugin folder uh, in your WordPress web blog. And uh, there's Floatbox Plus already installed, and then I uh, installed the uh, Floatbox Plus folder uh, within the Floatbox Plus plugin folder. And that's what that looks like. Once you have that step done, you then need to uh, go back to your WordPress website and blog and uh, configure Floatbox Plus. And in fact, there's no particular order uh, to when you configure it. You can configure it as soon as you install it, or you configure it uh, at any point in time and even revisit it. But these are the important parts. There's a lot of settings here that you can work with. It's a delightful plugin as far as its flexibility. You want to make sure that it's active. Okay. You can pick a theme. Uh, it comes uh, with uh, black, white, blue, yellow, and red. If you just choose auto, uh, that defaults to blue. The uh, blog post that you've seen this on, or the example on, comes, uh, I've chosen the black theme. The other thing is you need to set the width. Floatbox Plus does a really nice job of setting a image from the uh, video so that it looks like this. My uh, content is uh, about 600 pixels wide and with the reveals on either side or the margins on either side I need to set it to 570. Okay. The thing on the playback, how wide do you want it, and this will go ahead and hold the uh, native um, perspective or ratio of the uh, original video, but since most people keep their um, browser to around a thousand pixels wide, a little bit more, I set it to 850 pixels. You can uh, experiment with the other settings as you want, um, but uh, that you can do at a different time. We update these options, and then all we would need to do is put a, a video in a blog post. Now, uh, again, I just can't say enough nice stuff about Floatbox Plus. It's a great plugin. When you activate it, it will add an option here in the uh, visual edit panel for a page or post. And uh, it generally goes here on the far right of the top row, and it is a film strip. If you'll click on that, it brings up a dialog. And in that dialog box, you can choose your video. At this point in time, Floatbox Plus can only uh, use uh, the video portals of YouTube, YouTube HQ, Vimeo, and Blip but you choose where you've uh, uploaded your video to. Then insert the video ID, and that is that unique 
string of numbers and letters that sits in the URL of, uh, of the video. I see no reason as a marketer to uh, push people back uh, off of my site to uh, YouTube or Vimeo. So I do not link, uh, don't show a link below the video. You do a really nice job with Floatbox Plus presenting the video, so you may as well keep people on your site and click Insert. When you click Insert, the Floatbox Plus creates a, a short code and embeds it, and this is what the short code looks like. So YouTube HQ, this is the unique video uh, identifier string in the URL, and then the no link modifier because I want to link uh, our exit ramp off of the website. <laughs> and uh, then save or update. And uh, when it's done, it'll look like this. Here's the uh, video blog, or the uh, uh, blog post with the video embedded into the uh, blog. You uh, click on it and it opens up and begins to play the video. If uh, the internet connection was a little bit faster. There we go. It creates a real attractive light box effect. So if you have any questions uh, or run into uh, to any problems, uh, please let me know. I'd be glad to help. Uh, feel free to uh, call or uh, send an email using the um, number or email form. Good luck and uh, enjoy.